Hello there. Welcome to the Museum of Marvellous Things, a place where almost anything can happen when you use the magic of your imagination. My name is Christina Stevenson and I'm delighted to tell you that my magical museum is going to be coming to the Victoria Art Gallery in Bath as part of a really exciting new exhibition called Myths and Monsters. And here's the best bit. You get to be part of the exhibition too. All you have to do is make one of these. A magical monster in a jam jar. They're easy peasy to make and loads of fun and when you've made yours all you have to do is bring it down to the gallery and pop it on one of the shelves of the Museum of Marvellous Things. Sound good? Well here's how you make them. So, what you're going to need is some flour, some salt, some water, a mixing bowl and a spoon, some empty jars in lots of different sizes, some paints, some paper, and some cardboard from an old cardboard box. Oh, and a pen will come in handy and you're going to need some glue, but you can use flour and water mixed together for glue if you like. And here's what you're going to do. Oh, bye Billy. Put four cups of flour into your bowl with one and a half cups of salt and one and a half cups of water. Stir everything together with a spoon, then with your hands squish and squidge it into a doughy ball. You can add more water if you need to and when it feels like a mouldable clay you can start sculpting. Now, remember this is your museum, so you can make whatever you want. But here are some little creatures that I made with my clay. You'll need to leave your models to dry and go hard. This could take a day or two, or you could ask a grown-up to help you bake them in the oven on a very low temperature for an hour or two. When the models are hard and cool if they've been in the oven, you're ready to paint them. Now then, remember those jam jars? Well, they're a really good way to display your models. You'll need to soak them in some warm soapy water to get the labels off and you need to paint the lid inside and out. Acrylic paint is probably best for this. When the lid is completely dry, you can stick on one of your models. I'm going to use this one. Some little clay creatures that I've painted and stuck onto a twig, which I found when we were out walking. So, put your model on your lid like so, and when it's nice and secure, can take your jam jar oops and put it over the model so it's really beginning to look like an exhibit in a museum to make it extra special and really make it look like a display case you can take another painted jam jar lid and you can stick this one onto the top of the second lid like so Finally, you can make some little labels for your models out of cardboard and paper. You can really use your imaginations to think up some interesting or silly names for your creatures. I've got 
num nums, doodahs, spiky spindles, and Kevin. But you can think up any names you want to. You can even make a leaflet for your museum if you want to. And you can tell people where your creatures came from, what sort of things they like to do, anything you want really. Then you can invite your family and your carers to come to your museum of marvellous things. So don't forget, your jam jar monsters are needed in the Museum of Marvellous Things. So bring them down to Myths and Monsters at the Victoria Art Gallery in Bath and help me bring my magical museum alive. See you there. Bye. <laughs>